Hello and welcome to Let's Play Endless Space 2. I'm JC Proton. This is episode 17 of my sixth Let's Play series. As you can see, we are playing uh, on a uh, really big <laughs> Spiral 8 Galaxy map. Uh, it's one continuous constellation. Um, and we're playing the Vaulters, a custom version of Vaulters. But they're, they're, they play pretty traditional Vaulters style with the special colonizing and everything. Uh, we're picking up at turn 44, and we are we are exploring the galaxy. We're searching for, and we pretty much settled in on where we're going to have our third uh, system. It looks like it's going to be Orion. Um, right now I have Eden Incense. So the first upgrade is using Titanium. The second one I'm going to use uh, Eden Incense and... Um, Jade Onyx. So there's Jade Onyx here. So I'm gonna, I'm, my plan is to put the Argosy down here on Orion and it has three Jade Onyx deposits. Looks like we have um, Horatio here and we have the Lumeris down here. So uh, just a matter of doing a little scouting. <clears throat> Yep, there's the Lumeris. Okay, and here we've switched over from Jade Onyx deposits into Dark Glitter deposits. So at this point, I think we're ready to come back here. How long is it going to take? Five turns. There's a subterranean one there on the snow, which means that is most likely... Um, some kind of strategic resource, I believe. This Arctic is a four. Ruins four. So, that might be a system that's worth having at some point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send this one back this way. He's heading to Farber. All right, this guy's going to go do some scouting. Yep, he's got some work to do. So he is in privateer mode. So he appears to be a pirate. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. It's sometimes hard for me to see the flashing on these, so I kind of like to just double check. Like there's definitely one at ESO, and there's definitely one at Dill. You can also just hover over the uh, the symbols, and it will tell you. So there's one at Safe Saif. Well, anyway, he needs to come up here. Oh, okay. There's the answer. We have Cravers here, and we have United Empire out here. <laughs> okay. <coughs> now we know. Now we know. Okay, so I'm going to send another. I have a scout over here, and he's going to come across this way. Okay, so Lacerta. Is there anything we're going to do here? Lacerta. What's the expedition power? What do we got here? We got a settler. Oh, really? We got some competition on the settling action, huh? Okay. Cool, yeah. I like the sound of that. Let's you and him fight. I like that. I like that, yeah. Why don't you guys throw down? I 
definitely like I like that. I got nine moves left. Yeah, I'm just gonna come up here, man. There's nothing to see here. Cool. Wow, look at this. Four of them, huh? I have five probes, so that works out great. Okay, we've got a life form three, an atmospheric two, a subterranean one, and a life form one. Okay, well, we're going to be helping out the cravers here. I'm okay with it. The faster they build up and expand, then the faster I can go ahead and start taking their systems away. <laughs> the Empire welcomes all who embrace its ideals. Yeah, I bet you do. So far, he's only met um, the Cravers until he met me. <sighs> Is that what I'm going to do? I do need it. I do want it. Like, I want to do this and this. But I think it's more, it's actually maybe more important to get that. Let's see how fast. You see, if I unlock those two, then I get to see the, this and this. I get to see Orichalcix and Quadernix deposits. Um, 17, 13. How long till the next election? It's 44 now. 27, 40, 50, 60, 71. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That way I'll be able to see um, the top tier. Um, Strategic resources. <laughs> I forgot the name for a second. Uh, in 13 turns. Um, that'll let me see them where they are. So I'll at least be able to see them. Yeah. I think that's a good choice. And I'll still have time to complete the research to... Um, let's see. One there. Do I need it? Maybe... Can do the same thing from here and it'll be better okay we'll just wait yeah we'll come up here we'll just wait all right yeah i think that's the way to go uh that'll give me vis visibility of un of, of resources that will be they're pretty o e v o obvious to spot because what you'll see is you'll see um Okay, see how this one's like a life form, and you can see that is required exp required curiosity expedition power four. Okay, so what you'll see with Quadernix and or a Calcix deposits is you'll see them on planets like lava planets and deserts, like really an uninhabitable type planets. You know, toxics. <coughs> excuse me, and and gas on the gas planets. You'll tend to see um, where it'll say subterranean and then when you look at it it'll say required curiosity expedition power one and it's like wait a minute so the the strategics are always expedition power one so you can tell if it's a strategic just it's a dead giveaway because um, you will have been you know looking at planets and systems the, the whole game and all of a sudden there's these new um, curiosities that are available that are expedition power one. He's like, wait a minute, that wasn't there before. I remember, I've been looking, and I would have noticed it if it was there and I didn't see it. So they'll jump out. They'll jump out. 
and um, and then you'll you'll recognize it, and so you'll spot it. And you're like, aha, I know what that is. So I want to do that. I want to re be able to reveal that soon, so that I, it helps me like figure out where I'm gonna um, be colonizing. I try to get a jump on it, you know. So there we are, 13, and then 27. So yeah, it's gonna be good. It's it's coming together, man. Oh yeah, this guy. Select all, merge, and attack. Well, Cravers, how unfortunate for you that the pirates decided to attack you. <laughs> I'm going to watch it just to see if our um, camouflage fails or not. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. These ships look pretty cool. I like them. I wish they were better, but yeah, they're cool. Select all. Okay, let's everybody move back up here. And then whoever makes it there. Oh, really? Did everybody make it? No. Those two. Guys, go to guard mode, and the Fey ring is going to go cruising over here. Yeah, they did no damage. <laughs> I didn't see any indication that the that the camouflage failed. So as far as the Cravers know, it seems like they think that it was pirates that attacked them. So that's cool. Okay, over here at Pixis. All right, this guy's going to keep on cruising. Let's see, do we have uh, nothing to explore? Hunting culture is pretty nice. All we have is praise there. Well, you know, let's praise him one more time. Let's get to plus four. It would be nice to have uh, that ability. Okay, I was thinking it would be good to send a, pro a probe down this way, but our, our vision radius is pretty big at this point. I think we'll spot most of the stuff that's there to see. Okay, we're at one of the three. Unknown Empire. Hmm, so he's at risk of getting attacked. Okay. Quest. Sixty dust. Okay, you can be on your way over to here. Check this out, and then come over here and make his way over to Naos. Naos. All 
All right, this dude, we're already at a plus three. We're going to explore these curiosities. Do we want to go plus four with this dude? You know what? This is a really good one. Let's go ahead and do it. Pump it up. influence that was cool got back the influence I just spent on him and then some okay and then let's see how many are over here one two three four so uh, I see these these are about expired so I kind of want to do send probes maybe one or two out this way you know what, he's out of movement anyway. So, he'll just take a break. Take five, buddy. Take five. All right, he's gonna explore these two atmospherics real quick. Atmospheric ones. Anomalies, they're both anomalies. One was a positive and the other was mixed. Cool. All right. Um, if I go over there, he's going to probably attack me because I look like a pirate. So I think I'm going to just leave that Ruins 3 alone for now. Harmony. So this is a fleet of Harmony. He, he captured... I guess he got them. Okay, well... Hopefully I can avoid getting attacked by those. Fatia. Sir, wreck all torpedoes or missiles, antimatter deposit. Oh, there it is! Finally, finally, at long last, it is mine, all mine. Yes, the glorious, yes. The head rubbing, belly rubbing joy that is the Sim Camp. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is mine. Yes. That feels good. That was good. I'm pretty happy about that. Ah. <sighs> And it's good that I got it instead of the Unfallen, because the Unfallen have crazy stacks of, um, of, of defenders. So that gives them a bunch of... That will give them a whole bunch. Okay, and I already have this, and I already have this, so we we'll need to research this um, in relatively short order. I guess it doesn't have to be super fast. Uh, I'll research it as soon as it's convenient. As soon as I'm building those and I need to need it, yeah. That is great news. That is great news. Okay, so the pincer needs to... I think maybe I'll assemble my um, Pulsos Assault Fleet at Selem. 
Should I just move that fleet over here, though? It might. I might just move it over here. Oh, 20 turns. That's brutal. That's pretty harsh. So 20 turns to get here. <clears throat> How long is it to get here? 27. Wow, really? It's going to go off lane? Why is he going off lane? I guess it's faster. Man, that's just nuts. Man, I wasn't kidding when I said these uh, <laughs> spiralates are hard to get around. <laughs> Holy smokes. <coughs> it is hard to get around in these. Wow. Okay, well, either way, whichever way I go, I'm going to at least go here. So let's just tell him to go there. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we'll figure it out. Um, Cephas is there. That's there. That's, that's well beyond our probe range. There's no way we can get a probe anywhere remotely close to that. The probe ends here. So, yeah, nah. This is not happening. Like, I could send a probe down this way. That would be fine. That would help make sure nothing escapes my purview. My purview. Uh, he's just going to go that way, probably. Actually, he doesn't need to go anywhere. He can just wait, because that'll be fine. Oh, and that was the last, uh, that was the last ship to move this turn. Okay, cool. Okay, let's take a look over here at Galvaran. And make a decision. Is anybody headed to Galvaran right now? So he's going to be a, he's going to Galvaran, so I'm going to wait on Galvaran for a turn. We're several turns away before we settle with the Argosy. So it's not urgent to do it now. This guy is going to arrive. I'm going to send him over to Galvaran. Yeah. Okay. We're going to end the turn, I guess. We'll keep the laws where they are. What's our approval looking like? Yeah, much much better. Much better that I've taken some population off of AA. That's better. So our score is down to 279 when I got rid of that, um, that one system. It'll drop, it'll drop again when we, um, when we, when we dump Galvaran. Okay. Oh, the probes that were coming down here spotted that. Okay. <laughs> Another favoring coming out. Sim camp. Yeah, boys. So sim camp, uh, basically f your manpower on your planet, um, you get a tenth of a point of industry per manpower on your planet. So right now I have 200 manpower, so that would be 20 industry. Um, so essentially, if you build sim camp, 
and then you build defenses those those increase your manpower like that's 250 capacity so that that that's building 25 industry as a side effect this one builds 30 industry so after you've built the sim camp that is you have to build the sim camp before you get that industry bonus out of those So if I'm going to have that done in 10 turns, then I'm going to be ready to build this in 10 turns. So I'm probably going to move this up to there. <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, that way I complete this one and this one, and this one, which unlocks visibility here. Then I build this, or I research this, so then I'll have visibility. Um, already, already unlock the visibility, then I'll research the thing that lets me add more, uh, another 25 industry to everything with SimCamp built. Um, yeah. And then, uh, then we do the big research over here. The big one for the ultra deep habitats that gives us deep epic scanning. And then we'll be able to explore uh, all curiosities on the map. Everything. We'll be able to have visibility and explore everything. <laughs> okay, so this guy, he can come out safely. Yep. Come out and turn into a pirate. Arr, I'm turning into a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I need a second one over here? Not really, actually. Not not really. Um, I, th I think we're kind of good. Hmm. Bit of a surprise, but that's cool. I already have one going here. Do I need to run a second one down here, maybe? I think where I need it is up here. I think three is too many for up here. I think two is sufficient. I have one going up there already. Get a watch. Sure. <laughs> Very cool, man. Very cool. Okay, sim camp is a thing that we're going to build. Let's see, colony. So 
So right now, building that, or colonizing that, gets me 10 industry, 10 science, and 10 food. This will get me 20 industry. Um, right now, 11 turns left on the Golden Age, which is a plus 25 approval. exam 107 so I don't really need infinite supermarkets till here don't need this until I have the tech for it which I will be getting in seven turns so bump him up to be around in here and we'll adjust him in the build queue and let's see we're gonna need to update the Budokai bunkers get that industry rocking tractable armaments get those rocking I think we're gonna we're gonna hold these way back for now And the plan will be uh, after after we have this, um, we may pick up this and this for these two researches or uh, whatever gathering those resources might go with this to do the advanced terraforming. Uh, we could totally go with this because this is always amazing. Um, can go with this and we may go this and this we, we may actually There's a good chance. We may actually go with just grabbing up all of the planet types that we don't have yet um, That'd be a pretty solid choice um, since since uh, the ecologist faction is no longer in charge and They're likely To never be in charge again. We'll see how long it takes but gradually what's going to end up happening is our, our military and industry is going to start gradually building up and it'll eventually just take over but i don't know how long that's going to take it could be a long while it could be a long while uh, it's, it's, it's a very long game and it's i don't want to like expand too fast i have to be really patient because it's really expensive to expand so I really want to hold off on grabbing a bunch of systems until I have... The, the, the problem will be if I um, expand too fast, then I won't be able to settle anymore with the Argosy. So I'm not going to go on a, a, a big military campaign blitz, and I'm not going to be able to keep a lot of these minor civilizations for a while. So I may end up like like having minor civilizations that I want to keep, and I end up abandoning them anyway, um, just because I want to be able to settle more systems with the Argosy. There may be like I want a you know where a Calcix deposit, or I want this um, system that's got these good luxury resources that I want somewhere. So I may end up deferring for quite a while um, my expansion. This guy has three, yeah, and there's four over here, so I want to have one left. Okay, that works. So he has one probe left. He'll get over here to Gonos, and he'll have generated three more. Oh, <laughs> okay, I guess I'll get there this turn. I wasn't thinking you'd get there this turn. Okay, duh. 
Okay. Uh, life form one is probably one of these super spuds. Okay, so we have atmospheric one, life form one, ruins one, and atmospheric one. Let's do the ruins. Okay. Kessler syndrome and science. All right, you just wait there, and next turn he'll explore some more. Um, there was somebody that I was moving, or something. I think it must have been this guy. not the end of the line, all right. So we probe down this away. Yeah, this is a much better spot to do that from. <clears throat> I was gonna do it from down here, but the angle wasn't as good. This angle's better. This one right here is mo better, mo better. If I show. There we go, I'll throw, yeah, throw another one out there, that's cool. And then when I get over here, then I can send one this way, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Move along. <clears throat> okay, move everybody. Okay, select all. Okay, you go into the hangar to repair. Let's see, you, we have a fairing. ring, that's right, that fairing ring is heading out there. This guy is gonna, let's see, these guys need to go into privateer mode. Guy's gonna explore this curiosity here at Lores. He has five movement left, so he can move if he needs to. A ruins three. Advanced plasmoidal shielding. Plasmoid shielding is twelve hundred. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using that, I don't think. Mm, probably head back here. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to move back there. Plus two with these guys. Let's go ahead and pump it up a bit. We're going to try to get them. Or at least we're going to try a little bit harder than we were trying.
antimatter fleet accelerator. Now that's pretty good. <clears throat> that's pretty good. It gives you two extra movement points. That's pretty good. That's a good module. You can only put it on hero ships, on your uh, on your admiral ships. But that's pretty good. Yeah, this is one we're gonna get. And I think the system's not a keeper, right? Yep, probably no resources here. Got a shuttle. Cool. All right, so the shuttle is gonna go back to here and then turn into a privateer and then I'll come up here and rejoin these guys and then this one is going to come do the quest <laughs> and then we're going to get crazy probes our probes are going to go off the charts it's going to be crazy and what's even crazier is if I get these ones too <laughs> That'll be really bananas. Okay. And it's not the end of the line. There's more. Okay, so he's going to go around here. And, yeah. So this goes all the way down here, it looks like. Dude, that's a long way, bro. Okay, cool. That's great, man. We've got a lot of stuff to see. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. We finally got the sim camp. All right, how many probes do we have? We have five fully charged. Okay, let's do it. So we got a signal three, a life form two, a ruins two, and a signal three. Okay, let's go. Bang, 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 bang. a pirate, a pincher, pincer. Got a weak one. And a prowler. Wow, two pirates. Tar, it's a pirate system it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm stirring up trouble for whoever's over here. Uh, I guess this is the Riftborn one, is it? No. This is the Lumeris one, I think. No, the Lumeris one's up here. This is the Riftborn one. Well, the Riftborn are pretty well equipped to deal with pirates. Their ships are pretty tough. Um, what else did we get? Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Smart titanium repair bots. I really like these ones. They're really good. I mean, for the low level that they are, that's a 25% repair per battle, right? That's 5% per phase and 10% after the battle. Cost you two titanium, but dude, those are pretty solid. I like those a lot better than the Hyperion ones. And a Vodiani population. Wow. There aren't many populations in the game I'd want to keep. That one might be one of them. For gene splicers, that would be awesome. You love getting Vodiani, man. Uh, I guess I'll just head up this way. All right, this dude's going to explore. So we're at two out of three. So here's the moment of truth. Do all of these curiosities disappear when I get the third one? Here we go. We're going to find out. Yep, they all did. Every last one of them disappeared. Huh. I feel like I've been robbed. I wanted to, I wanted to explore all of them. It was like 15 or 20 of them, right? Scattered all over the place. Ah, uh, well. Now we know. Oh, I got that guy. Okay, right on. Hey, he's an industrialist too. 
Assign him to a system and raise its level to seven. So he's level four now, right? I think. Maybe he's five. So raise him to seven. And I get idea incubator. That's an empire improvement. It's not something you build. It's just something that happens. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. 50% extra industry and science on any system with a colonized, oh, unique planet and a governor. Okay. Okay. You have to have a unique planet. Sign him to a system and raise it. Okay. Hooey. Wow. Very interesting. Let's take a look at this guy. He's already level five, so he only has to get to seven. Inspect. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. So he's industrialist and scavengers. Mm, scavengers is not that great. 10 science per anomaly on the system um, he's a seeker so that's also not really that awesome for a governor because he's a seeker so he's like a fleet commander type of type hmm <laughs> I might end up using him as, as a fleet commander and uh, just to have him temporarily on on systems. I'll have to think about that off camera. Uh, obviously, I don't have a system I'm going to put him on right now, so uh, he's just going he's just going to hang out. So he got to here. Oh, so these guys went by, and then I, and then I moved. Okay. And now we move to Tikal. Subterranean one, life form one, ruins two. Hmm, improved high eye plating. Yeah, I don't usually use that one very often. Plus one food per population on planets on the R. Entire empire for 20 turns. Cool. Extra food is great. Uh, we have no movement left. I'm going to go ahead and send a probe down here. I may fly down there or I may fly across this way. Kind of up in the air at this point. Okay, so this guy is probably going over this way. Oopsie, video ran long, didn't it? Let's see here. 
so what do I want to do with these guys? Part of me wants to block and defend, but then part of me is like, no, you actually want others to come in and settle so that you can conquer them. Uh, since I can't do the settling, I need others to come in and do the settling. In which case, I probably want to move these fleets over to the Pulsos Invasion Fleet area. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to move them that way for now. And he's going to be repairing, and he's already got orders to head over that way. Okay, that works. And we're going to wait a turn on Galvaran because we've got people heading that way from somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. This guy has a bunch of people. Needs to go to Galvaran. Okay. Okay, you're going to Galvaran. You're going to Galvaran. You're going to Galvaran. Everybody's going to Galvaran. Okay, that's good. The laws are okay. <clears throat> so what I want to do, I want to have Galvaran go away. Um, I'm going to colonize Orion with the Argo Sea, um, which is three turns away. Then once I have settled there, I can go ahead and try to assimilate these guys by just passing a law um, which I can do is all I have to do is um, unlock a law slot by researching this this or or this and as soon as I do that it'll unlock the law slot I can pass the law and I'll immediately uh, I guess the next turn get these guys maybe the same turn I'm not sure um, and so that'll be two more Eden Incense income. Um, and I'll go ahead and try to get Hekka as soon as I can, whatever the quest is or whatever. Um, not because I want concentrated con constructors, but because it's a system that has a Jade Onyx on it and a strategic resource, and it's uh, three of the planets are hot, so it's it's a good system to have, right? So that'll give me a total of um, three jade onyx here and one jade onyx here, so that's four jade onyx and deposits. And then over here, I'm going to be at four because this has two Eden incense and this has two Eden incense and another deposit of adamantium. So that's two adamantium. Four Jade Onyx, four Eden Incense, uh, one Titanium, one Hyperium total um, deposits for the Empire. So then I need to look at uh, getting Adamantian, I mean uh, Antimatter, and the other ones. But that'll at least get um, our baseline expansion set up here for the first two upgrades. That'll get us flowing, get the numbers running uh, the right direction. Maybe I need to start selling some super spuds. 
Um, what are they like at in the in the marketplace? 128. They sell for a pretty good price. Um, let's sell like 10. No, not buy. Yes, I need a break. Um, super spuds. There they are. Hmm. They cost a lot more to buy than they are to sell. But anyway. I don't wanna I don't wanna break the uh, the pricing model there. I don't wanna crash the price by selling too many at once, but I can go ahead and kind of sell a little bit here and there. I don't an anticipate using super spuds at any point. <laughs> Um, at this point, the last three um, resources here for this upgrade, I'm hoping those to be um, either uncommon or rare uh, resources, hopefully. And I guess I guess that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and click on over to the next turn. Yeah. You're going to sit and doing nothing. That's right. I'll put him as the governor um on my new planet when it, on my new colony when I when I found it. 80%. We're 80% explored. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll just call it quits right here, and then uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.